Okay, Andy. So today we're gonna have extra reading. Okay, please try this. We have tennis court. This one, this tennis court. Okay, this one is tennis court. Okay, please listen, Andy, for extra listening too. We are already in extra. After this, we will move to elementary solution. Okay. Okay. okay, please listen and for this one. Ready? Okay. Look at question one. One. What doesn't the girl like about her photo? Look at this photo of me in my red dress. I hate it. It's a lovely dress. What's wrong with it? The dress is all right, but my nose looks big. But your eyes are beautiful, and the dress is great. So what's the problem? Now listen again. Look at this photo of me in my red dress. I hate it. It's a lovely dress. What's wrong with it? The dress is all right, but my nose looks big. But your eyes are beautiful, and the dress is great. So what's the problem? Two. Which is the boy's next lesson? Oh, no. My maths book's not in my bag. Is that your next class? That's right. Then I've got geography before lunch and music this afternoon. Here, take my book. Remember to give it back to me tomorrow. See you later. Now listen again. Oh, no. My maths book's not in my bag. Is that your next class? That's right. Then I've got geography before lunch and music this afternoon. Here, take my book. Remember to give it back to me tomorrow. See you later. Three. What will the woman do first? This room looks really dirty. I'm going to clean the windows. It's better to do that after we finish painting the walls. But I must clean the floor before we start painting. OK. You do that and I'll get the paint ready. Now listen again. This room looks really dirty. I'm going to clean the windows. It's better to do that after we finish painting the walls. But I must clean the floor before we start painting. OK. You do that, and I'll get the paint ready. Oh. What do they need to buy for dinner? Would you like fish for dinner? I'd prefer pasta. We'll have to buy some tomatoes, then. I'll get some from the shop. We don't need anything else, do we? I don't think so. We've got cheese. There's a lot in the fridge. Now listen again. Would you like fish for dinner? I'd prefer pasta. We'll have to buy some tomatoes then. I'll get some from the shop. We don't need anything else, do we? I don't think so. We've got cheese. There's a lot in the fridge. Five. What did Joe get for his birthday? Is that bike your birthday present, Joe? 
The bike was my Christmas present. I got this CD player. Oh, great! What are you listening to? The latest CD by Blast. It's great. You should get it. Now listen again. Is that bike your birthday present, Joe? The bike was my Christmas present. I got this CD player. Oh, great! What are you listening to? The latest CD by Blast. It's great. You should get it. This is the end of part one. What doesn't the girl like about her photo? Is on Fair. very good. Which is voice next lesson? Is math. What will the woman do first? Is letter C. Sweep the Floor. Okay. What do they need to buy for dinner? Andy. Letter A. And what did Joe get for his birthday? It's letter C. Okay. One. Okay. okay. This one, Andy. Okay. Listen to Gemma and her husband, Harry, talking about pictures for their new house. Then... Now look at part two. Listen to Gemma and her husband, Harry, talking about pictures for their new house. Which picture will they put in each room? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter, A to H, next to each room. You will hear the conversation twice. Where shall we put all these pictures, Harry? We need one in the living room. Let's put the painting of the cathedral there, Gemma. Good idea. Shall we put one in the bathroom? How about this holiday one? I never really liked that. But I do. I think of summer when I look at this beach. It'll be great there. OK. I'm pleased you don't want it in the bedroom. <laughs> no. I'd like this one of horses there. But it's the wrong colour. The picture of the river will look better there. You're right. But I'd like one of my favourites in the kitchen. OK. Let's put the horse picture in there. And in the hall, the one of the racing cars. I just love that. Well, nobody else does. Can't we put this painting of your village there? OK. And what about the dining room? There's this one of my parents, or the picture of the Swiss mountains. Um, the one of your mum and dad, then. Great. That's it. Now listen again. Where shall we put all these pictures, Harry? We need one in the living room. Let's put the painting of the cathedral there, Gemma. Good idea. Shall we put one in the bathroom? How about this holiday one? I never really liked that. But I do. I think of summer when I look at this beach. It'll be great there. OK. I'm pleased you don't want it in the bedroom. <laughs> no. I'd like this one of horses there. But it's the wrong colour. The picture of the river will look better there. You're right. But I'd like one of my favourites in the kitchen. OK. Let's put the horse picture in there. And in the hall, the one of the racing cars. I just love that. Well, nobody else does. Can't we put this painting of your village there? OK. And what about the dining room? There's this one of my parents, or the picture of the Swiss mountains. Um, 
The one of your mum and dad, then. Great. That's it. Andy, wait now. I will just go to the bathroom, okay? Wait okay. It. This is the end of part two. Okay, please listen again and review your answer. Look so at we'll part just go to two. The bathroom. Listen. Okay, Andy. So let us go okay. here. Yeah. Bathroom. Listen to Gemma or and her husband Harry. Harry. Where are the pictures in the bathroom? Letter A. Very good. How about the bedroom? Okay, it's letter H. How about kitchen? What is in the kitchen, Andy? Very good, Andy boy. How about in the hall, Andy? Hall. It's letter D. And dining room? What is in the dining room? It is very good. Letter C. Yay. Okay, next one, Andy boy. Let us have here. Okay, look at this. This is a hotel. It's a very big hotel, Andy. Okay, can you see the hotel? Yes, Jeff. Okay, listen to Grace telling a friend about a hotel. Okay. Please listen, Andy. Now look at part three. Listen to Grace telling a friend about a hotel. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. 
Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Hello, Grace. Did you have a nice time at the Rosemount Hotel? You mean the Rose Bank? Yes, I enjoyed it. Where was it? Five minutes from the mountains, right on the beach. The shops were ten kilometres away. It sounds rather quiet. It was, but I liked that. Was there a pool? Yes, but it was closed. I swam in the sea once, but I spent most days on the hotel golf course. There were tennis courts in the town, but they were too far away. Did you have a nice room? Yes. It was quite big, and I could watch television and videos there in the evening. If I wanted a cup of coffee or cold drink, I went to the bar downstairs. And how about the meals? There were lots of vegetables, but the meat and fish were always fried and often came with chips. I really prefer rice or pasta. Mm, me too. Anyway, my stay didn't cost much, and it was a nice quiet break away from my noisy family. Now listen again. Hello, Grace. Did you have a nice time at the Rosemount Hotel? You mean the Rose Bank? Yes, I enjoyed it. Where was it? Five minutes from the mountains, right on the beach. The shops were ten kilometres away. It sounds rather quiet. It was, but I liked that. Was there a pool? Yes, but it was closed. I swam in the sea once, but I spent most days on the hotel golf course. There were tennis courts in the town, but they were too far away. Did you have a nice room? Yes. It was quite big, and I could watch television and videos there in the evening. If I wanted a cup of coffee or cold drink, I went to the bar downstairs. And how about the meals? There were lots of vegetables, but the meat and fish were always fried and often came with chips. I really prefer rice or pasta. Mm, me too. Anyway, my stay didn't cost much, and it was a nice, quiet break away from my noisy family. This is the end of part three. Okay, so Rose Bank, the name yeah. of the hotel is Rose Bank. The hotel is where? <laughs> Near the sea. Okay, at the hotel, Grace could what? Play a golf. So in Grace's room, there was a video player. And the restaurant, Grace had? Lot of fried food. Grace says the hotel was very cheap, Andy. Okay, next one, Andy boy. You will hear a conversation about a holiday English course. Okay, please listen. Now look at part four. You will hear a conversation about a holiday English course. Listen 
and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Dudley College. Oh, hello. Could you tell me about your holiday English courses, please? Yes. They're in our college in Oxford. It's for my friend's daughter. She's 15 and comes from Poland. Fine. Our holiday courses are for teenagers. We take students from the age of 13, but most are a little older. Oh, good. How long is the course? It begins on the 11th of July and finishes on the 29th. That's three weeks, isn't it? Do the students live in the college? Not on these courses. We put the teenagers with English families in their homes. Our teachers think it's better. That way they speak more English and learn about English life. Good idea. How much does the course cost? It's £690. That's for everything. And where exactly is the college? It's in Farley Street. How do you spell that? That's F-A-R-L-E-Y. Thanks. Could you send me a booking form? Certainly. What's your name, please? Now listen again. Dudley College. Oh, hello. Could you tell me about your holiday English courses, please? Yes. They're in our college in Oxford. It's for my friend's daughter. She's 15 and comes from Poland. Fine. Our holiday courses are for teenagers. We take students from the age of 13, but most are a little older. Oh, good. How long is the course? It begins on the 11th of July and finishes on the 29th. That's three weeks, isn't it? Do the students live in the college? Not on these courses. We put the teenagers with English families in their homes. Our teachers think it's better. That way they speak more English and learn about English life. Good idea. How much does the course cost? It's £690. That's for everything. And where exactly is the college? It's in Farley Street. How do you spell that? That's F-A-R-L-E-Y. Thanks. Could you send me a booking form? Certainly. What's your name, please? This is the end of part four. Okay. So are you ready with your answer? Andy, we're going to have two classes today. Okay. So please get them to Zoom later. Okay. So student must be how old? 13. Okay. Starting date, it is 11th of July. Very good, Andy. Spelling 11th. And the 11th, English families. Very good, Andy. And how much is the price, Andy? 690. College in what? Farley Street. Okay. You will hear some information about Air Museum. Okay, please listen. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about an air museum. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. This is the Air Museum Information Line. In the museum, you can see 140 old planes. It's one of the biggest air museums in Europe. The museum is 48 miles from London and is not far away from the village of Cherford. That's C-H-E-R-F-O-R-D. 
You can get there by car, or if you come to the village by train, take the 51 bus from Chirford Station. In summer, the museum is open every day from 10 in the morning to 7.15. In winter, it closes earlier, at 4 o'clock. A ticket for adults is £6, and for children and students, it's £4.50. For families, there's a special ticket, which costs £18. This year, we have something extra for visitors. You can go up in a small plane that was built in 1930 and see the countryside from the air. You can only do this on Sundays, and you should book for this trip seven days before you come. We hope to welcome you to the Air Museum soon. Now listen again. This is the Air Museum information line. In the museum, you can see 140 old planes. It's one of the biggest air museums in Europe. The museum is 48 miles from London and is not far away from the village of Cherford. That's C-H-E-R-F-O-R-D. You can get there by car, or if you come to the village by train, take the 51 bus from Cherford Station. In summer, the museum is open every day from 10 in the morning to 7.15. In winter, it closes earlier, at 4 o'clock. A ticket for adults is £6, and for children and students, it's £4.50. For families, there's a special ticket, which costs £18. This year, we have something extra for visitors. You can go up in a small plane that was built in 1930 and see the countryside from the air. You can only do this on Sundays, and you should book for this trip seven days before you come. We hope to welcome you to the Air Museum soon. This is the end of part five. Okay, so museum has 140 planes. Museum is near village of where? Therefore, and from village, get a bus number. You now have eight minutes to 51. write your answers on the answer sheet. And summer opening times, it's 7.15. Okay, and price of family ticket, it is 18. And the day for plane trips is on Sunday. Okay. Okay, so next we will have another activity. So teacher Anne will share another topic. <clears throat> so, uh, I mean, I have some news to add is Other the first. Yes, yes, I, I needed to hold the mural banner. Have them email me all of their photos. Thank you. Okay, so we have yeah. here. So here, and here we have teacher has a questions. Okay. How much free time do you have today? Okay, you can write your answer in here. Okay, 
please answer this one and write in here. Okay, Auntie? Or in the chat. Or in the chat box. Okay? Okay, Rija. Okay, the job. Okay. How much free time do you have a day? How much free time do you have a day? Ten hour. You have ten hour free time. <laughs> How do you? What do you often do then? If you have free time for ten hours, so many. What ten hours? Play badminton, read a book, watch TV. Okay. So you will gonna have this. What did you do for fun last weekend? 
Watch TV. When was the last time you went to the cinema? When was the last time? That's, oh, 2021. Oh, that's a long time. Andy, Andy, where are you? Okay. So, okay, here and then next. Okay, Andy, please get in the Zoom again, okay? Andy, okay. get in the Zoom okay. again.